This video is about how to identify if you have an NPN or if you have a PNP transistor and also how to identify the three leads, the emitter, base, and the collector. This is the symbol for a PNP transistor and this is the symbol for an NPN transistor. But before we get into how to test for each of these, we need to set up our ohmmeter. What we need to know is which lead from the ohmmeter is positive and which is negative, and we can use a diode to do this. If the leads from the ohmmeter are set up in this configuration with the negative on the cathode and the positive on the anode, that diode will conduct and we can see that with the ohmmeter. Okay, the first thing we've got to do is determine which lead is positive and negative. This is in ohms position and just because the probe says red here doesn't necessarily mean that this is positive and this is negative. We have to make sure and we can do that with a diode. Here's the bar on the diode right here that notes the cathode side. So here's the light doesn't conduct here, but of course it should conduct in the other direction. Okay, so that means that this is negative and this is positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a red alligator clip lead to mark which side is positive and which side is negative. Now that we know which leads are positive and negative, this is what we're going to be looking for in that PNP transistor. In other words, we're going to be looking for two diodes. And if we have the negative lead on B, if we find the base, the other two leads will conduct. Now the hard part after that is determining which is E and which is C. And we'll be able to do that with this configuration. And for this demonstration I'm going to be using a 100k ohm resistor. Okay, I've got a transistor up here meter still working and I brought out the leads of this transistor so they're easier to get to and I don't get anything here or here oh, there's conductivity there and here okay so that means that this should be the base and we have a P and P transistor. Okay. Now what we don't know is which is C and E. Well if we have an NPN transistor, that means that the collector is going to be negative, and we'll just Pretend that that's going to be the collector and this is going to be the emitter. This is a 100k ohm resistor. And if we bias this negative, we should get a big response. And we get a little bit in movement, but not much. So let's swap this around.
and now bias it this way. There we go. So that means that this is C, B, and E. Okay, here's that transistor in the same orientation. And I'm going to plug that in. Check our work. And it is a PNP. And it is C, B, and E. Now we'll test an NPN transistor. And the polarity is just the opposite. That diode will conduct when the base is positive and ERC is negative. And here is the configuration we're going to use to determine which lead is E and which lead is C. Okay, here's another transistor. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Okay, so that looks like it's the base and it's positive, so this is an NPN. Okay, and again, we got a 50-50 chance of which is positive. Well, we'll call this one again C. And we'll bias the base again. That 100K ohm resistor. Oh. Looks like we got it the first time here. So that means that this is C, B, and E. Okay, same orientation. We'll plug that in. The tester. It is an NPN, and it is E, B, and C. I hope you find this video and information useful, and thanks for watching.